Good morning crew and welcome back to my channel unless of course you guys are new around here in which case hi hello my name is Ashley but they call me a true yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope you guys will stick around and subscribe I'm sure all of you read today's title of the video. We are going to be doing a productive day in my life. Um, if you haven't watched like my last four videos, then you wouldn't know that I am currently recovering from having the Rona. I was down and out for 12 days with that thing. Like could barely leave my bed for more than like a minute before I needed to sit down. It was horrific. 10 out of 10. Do not recommend getting the Rona. Um, but obviously because I was down and out for 12 days, I am just so behind on everything. We need to catch up on doing the laundry. We need to catch up on cleaning. We need to catch up on doing the dishes. Like there's just, we need to get groceries. I mean, we're just we're struggling so that's what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna be making our list I have it right here on my phone of things that we need to do see it says productive day in my life so we need to fold and put the laundry away Bing. we need to wash the other clothes that I didn't get to Bing. we need to clean out the fridge because the groceries that I bought before getting the Rona have obviously gone bad because I could barely eat when I had the Rona. Um, I need to make a shopping list once I'm done cleaning out the fridge of all new groceries to buy. I need to Marco Polo my best friend Angelique because there's stuff that I need to tell her. And if we have time, I want to do the dishes. But the dishes will be like last. Like I could do those tomorrow if I needed to, you know? But. I'm excited for today's video. I am excited to like get this stuff done finally. It is so horrible to be like, I don't know, feeling like a prisoner in your own home because I physically could not get up and do things while I had COVID. Like I know some people get really lucky and they're like asymptomatic or whatever and they, you know, basically just have no symptoms or if they do, they're super mild. I didn't and I'm you know very thankful and lucky that like I was nowhere near death but I I got hit hard those symptoms hit me like a Mack truck and took me down so I am so happy to feel like alive again to have energy but I was saying that like when when you're so I don't know just like lethargic and you have no energy and everything is so hard and like day after day after day after day you just keep seeing like the laundry pile up the trash pile up the groceries going bad you know like it just it takes a toll on your mental health and so I am so excited to finally have the energy to be able to like take care of this stuff and take care of my space and like clean it fix it this isn't going to be like one of the spring cleaning videos that I was doing we will get back into those eventually but there's there's just some other things that have taken priority so first thing I'm going to do is if you want if you didn't watch my last video or if you did then you'll know that I have three baskets worth of clean clothes that I need to fold and put away because I I tried to do some laundry while I was sick and lost all my energy and couldn't put them away honestly even if you don't have COVID like folding and putting away laundry is the worst part of the laundry so I always avoid it at all costs but I'm just using COVID as an excuse um, so I want to do that first and then while I'm putting those away I'll put a load in the washer you know work smarter not harder and then I don't know we'll go from there but please enjoy the rest of this video.
noise in the background. The washer's going, the TV is on, and the remote is somewhere on the bed. I thought I put it on the edge so that way, like, I could easily access it, but I guess I didn't, and so now I don't know where it is. But I wanted to show you, I unloaded all three, look at them, three laundry baskets, and I put them all on the bed, and I organized them into piles, which may or may not end up being the smart decision or the dumb decision, I don't know, because, like, I didn't, originally I thought I was going to, like, you know, do one basket, put everything away, then come back and do another, but my main goal was to get the clothes out of the baskets, and I was worried that if I kept taking breaks in between, I would get tired and, like, want to sit down. So now I have no choice but to sit down until all of this is off my bed. So now I'm just going to put the stuff away in the drawers and in the closet, and, yeah, obviously there's more loads to do, but I'm very happy that I got this done and they're all clean and organized and it's just great. So now I just need to figure out where to put the camera so that way you guys can watch me put them all away. Okay guys, we've made it to the kitchen portion of the video. I finished putting away all this stuff that was on my bed. I didn't end up time lapsing the towels and the t-shirts because it was just me walking back and forth between my bed and the closet or like the linen closet or my regular closet. So I didn't feel like it's stormy. But anyway, now we're in the kitchen and we're gonna go through the fridge. First, we need a trash bag. These are the ones that I got in my last video. And they're all right, like you can see one like right there. The only problem is the opening is super small. It's like yay big. When I buy the black ones, I don't know if they're like Glad or something, whatever that brand is, it's a much better. Oh, hold on, I have to see if my dog wants it. Sorry for the dogs barking. Neighborhood's dog have a lot to say. Alright, what is this? Chicken things. I can throw those away because... Oh, they stink. That is gnarly. What's this? I have no clue what those are. So swerve on those. This French toast has been in there like a week. And see, these trash bags just are not as good as glad. No, these ones are glad. Well, they're not as good as the black ones then. Ooh, these tomatoes are so wrinkly. Okay, this sauce is old. Are these cinnamon rolls still so even like good? June. They're still good. Can throw this away. May 12th. Is it May 12th yet? Yeah. Today's the 14th, so the eggs are bad. Ugh. I did not want to do like a whole grocery haul. I was hoping to just pick up a couple things. I guess that's not going to be the case because nearly everything has gone bad. Salmon. May 9th. That's bad, but I'm, that's my mom, so I'll wait for her to decide. May 25th. We're good on that one. May 15th. That's tomorrow? Today. Tomorrow. I don't know. These pancakes can go. Oh, this is so heartbreaking. Ugh, I could 
couldn't even use my almond milk. May 31st. Maybe I still can. Got salad dressing. Got mayonnaise. Oh, how's the cream cheese? August. We're good to go on that one. My mom's creamer. I don't use that. Okay. Let me see. I did like freeze the meat. But it still kind of makes me nervous. Let me see. We freeze our hamburger meat all the time. Yeah, April 30th. Had to freeze it by frozen ground turkey meat. Use or freeze by, oh, May 22nd. Oh, damn. We got hella time on the turkey. Noise. The chicken, I don't know. I was like a day late putting it in the freezer. Maybe two. So I guess I'll leave it in there for now. I don't know, though. Okay, well that's all our expired food. So that's a bummer that we have to throw all this away. I mean, some of it was like takeout food, but it's still just a bummer, you know? Like it's wasted money, it's wasted food because I was too sick to eat it and like, you know, try as she might. My mom can't eat an entire fridge by herself. So, and also we eat really differently. We don't. We don't typically eat the same things, so bummer, but at least we got that done. Next on the agenda is making the shopping list. Okay guys, we have reached the point in our day where I am just exhausted. So the last clip you guys saw, I was cleaning out the fridge and then I said I had to make my grocery list, which is right here in front of me, hold on. I just wanna I just wanna prove to you guys so you know I'm not lying that's the wrong one that I did in fact make it hold on watch me erase the whole thing there we go I did make it but my mom ended up getting home a lot later sorry than I thought she would and so um, I thought she'd be home around 8.30 and she didn't get home until about 9. And so by like 9 o'clock, I just did not have the energy to go grocery shopping, you know? So now we've reached the point in the night where I've put on my pajamas, taken my bra off, and I'm trying to decide what to do. I still need to edit this video, but I don't feel like I have enough footage but the only other footage I can get is like of me continuing to do the laundry. And in all like realisticness, I don't know that I have the energy to do any more laundry. I specifically didn't put another load in the washer because I thought I was going to be going to the grocery store. And I knew that I wouldn't have the energy to like come home and do more laundry. But now I feel like if I'm just going to be sitting here editing for like an hour or two, then I should at least put like one more in the washer and dryer, you know? <laughs> I'm exhausted <laughs> I have nothing left to give I am so tired uh, the last clip you guys saw because I realized I forgot to introduce it was me editing the first part of this video this is the last clip that just needs to be imported into it and then it'll be all ready for you guys to watch well, actually if you've made it this far you've already watched it so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys liked this video pretty please give it a thumbs up it really supports me and my channel if you guys liked me, please hit that subscribe button. It just makes me really happy. I post new videos every Sunday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. I think that's everything. So, 
Kayla, you bye.